Henry Biden. Welcome back to Add Some Verses. That's Papa Bear, and I'm Addison. That's true. Today... <laughs> Today we are going to be doing some fall decorations. And by the time we'll do this, in the States it'll, it might be the day after, but two days or... Time travel. Be. You're confusing yeah. people. Yeah. So hopefully, um, it's maybe for you guys the night before Thanksgiving, but it's probably Thanksgiving Day. There. Right now, here, is the night before it's Thanksgiving. So we are trying to finish up some decorations and... Um, Get those out for everybody who's going to see them tomorrow. Because we do are having some friends and family come over uh, that we have here in Okinawa from mm -hmm. uh, work and, and stuff like that. So get a chance to spend some time with some people. But before we get into building the... Same thing we built last year for Thanksgiving, right? Yep. yep. And then right, and we're going to... If you stick around for... If you have stuff... Yeah. around for a while and if you didn't see it the, when we first put it out we'll go ahead and put a, a link to it right up here in the cards mm -hmm. and we're going to now add because we added some some hallo um, Halloween ones to our stuff we're going to turn those around and see if we can't figure out how to just add these as pumpkins to the set like a little bit bigger pumpkins so we'll add those and we've also got our uh, Lego Brickhead set turkey. 40273 uh, that's the uh, Thanksgiving turkey. So we'll put that together too, and we can put that out for decorations. Now, I, actually, if I can, one thing first is, um, if you didn't get a chance to see it, I did do this really cool brick head. Um, I'll put a picture up here, covering up all this crazy hand talk going on, uh, that someone designed out of the Go Brick Me sets. And you can build this entirely with it, um, the way they designed it in the Halloween set, and then I converted it over to just like a happier face, so we can put it out for Thanksgiving too. So he's gonna sit next to the turkey. So you had something else you wanted to say, Addison. Before we get into building the decorations, like we said, we have two things that came in the mail that we're very excited about. This is true. One needs a little bit of explanation. So we'll need the one that doesn't need so much explanation first. You've got mail. Okay. I think that works. We got in the mail what we think is a giant poster of the giant Minellium Falcon. Oh, it's for the back. Well, I guess it's fine. Let me see it. It's um, there. And so we'll go ahead and open this and we'll see if we, maybe we can hang it up next to our Dimensions poster. You can't see it. Yeah, it would be really cool if this is like a big poster or something we can maybe hang up in the studio or even if it's not, it's just um, we're kind of... I honestly don't know if that's what they're sending us, but I was just kind of curious to see if if it's a poster or if it's something different. Imagine this is just like a sign-up slip for yeah, getting it. It could just be an Bla ad. Yeah. On Black Friday or something. It could be, but it does say complete your wish list with the most iconic starship in the galaxy. And I, I do think it says something about... No, it doesn't say anything about Black Friday, but that's a good point. It like, kind of could just be an ad. Oh, the anticipation. Dun, okay. dun. We've got some cool panels here. Hold on. Let's see. So we've got uh, this cool set of pictures of like all of the minifigs that uh, come in. Actually, so let me see you if I can get. You said that there would be a plug, but I see no plug. Is there not? I thought. Uh, this amazing features interchangeable crew. So you decide which. This is just talking about the crew, but I'm, I'm uh, pretty sure it comes um, with porgs. Han, Ray, Finn, BB-8. Yeah, that's for the crews. Uh, made a lot of special modifications. So it shows kind of some of the build elements here to it also. And then talks about VIP. Okay, are we ready? Let's see if is it it is. It's kind of it's kind of a poster, kind of an ad all in one. So it's, it's this big Millennium Falcon here. It's about the same size, so we've got another Millennium Falcon kind of poster back there. So we can, you want to grab that? We can hang this up along with it and then actually end up having some of that out here. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, this would be something worth hanging out. Yeah, so we've got this cool, like, flying out of the, the mouth. And uh, we have this over with our Manila and Um. Yeah, it's the smaller set, though. It's not the, the yeah, UCS. Yeah, that's right. It's not okay. the big one. Okay. But there is no video for that, since one day Dad and Logan 
were just like, hmm, we should build this and just like start sitting on the floor building it. Well, I think, um, so I did post up pictures like on our Facebook a long time ago. I think we, that's long enough ago that I don't think you were. Yeah. I don't think we had Addison yet. Addison was still not a, not a person. So that's, it was a long time ago when we got that and built it. All right. So, and then once she gets back over here, we'll go into the, uh, the second thing we got which takes a little bit of explaining, as she said. This. It's okay. So with the Addison Versus on there, it's okay. So this is a envelope from Architect. Right so, right and if you want to send us something too, you can send it to the Addison Versus at this mailbox here. But what happened? How do we get this? So Architect posted a contest mm -hmm. and it and um his history with techno i mean tech <laughs> tech <laughs> anyways <laughs> not with techno <laughs> technic um specifically with the porsche 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 as he that says take took like three months. I think it might have taken six months. I don't know. It took a long time for me to build that Porsche. But, so and the contest was about how long. And this was posted at around November 2nd or 3rd. Yep. I said that it would, he would be done November 6th. Yep. He said December like second or something. No, I put him in November because I knew it was a smaller set and I knew he was kind of really wanted to see it built. So I think I said November twenty sixth, which is coming up, but that wasn't right either. What day did he finish it on? November sixth. So we'll throw in a real quick clip of what happened that day in his video. It was pretty pretty exciting. I actually was driving to work, um, listening to it, and heard that we won because it was in a and I was I was super crazy surprised. So I it was like, I even commented to it and yeah that was pretty it was pretty cool so uh we'll show you guys that clip right now i'm worried no one's gonna guess this we got november 15th again december 19th december 5th november 20th uh-oh we got one here addison guess november 6th he has two guesses but this is two people so papa bear you are a winner of the brick tech logo we're gonna see if anybody else and be sending that out to japan or possibly Hawaii, wherever he is at the time. So, Papa Bear, you are the first winner, maybe only winner. Let's see if anyone else guessed. So, a long time ago, when we first kind of ran into Brickitect, I saw that they had um, what's in here. Uh, Lester, you want to go ahead and open this first, and then I'll talk about that. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll yeah go ahead and open this first. So let's um, open this up, and you can get the pieces out. So, what's inside this package? A Brickitect logo. Yes, so he likes to um, sometimes give these out as prizes. This is actually, despite the fact that it's been a little more than a year, actually, now. We met them in October of last year. I'm going to maybe just go like this. Uh, we met them in October of last year, and so it's been a little more than a year since we've been friends with the Brickitect family over there. And uh, not too far into it, I saw his instructions for making your own Brickitect logo. Yes. And so a little bit of comparison. If I, I don't know if you even know this. So... He has um, black shelves and like a black tabletop and black backgrounds for a lot of his stuff. So then when his symbol was in black, I thought that kind of reflected the backgrounds he liked to go with. And our stuff is always like, so we have like the white tabletop and I usually was doing the white backgrounds for the photos and everything like that. So I thought, hey, I'll take his design for the Brickitech logo black and, and make all the pieces in white. white. So then I did make that. You're going to grab it. Can you reach it? So I did stick it on um, a, a like a, a rotating piece so I can stick it on the thing up there. But yeah, and so it's built the same way. Hinge, so go like that. Yep, that's the way that his is built. So we're about to make it in his black version. But this is how we did ours in white. I'm pop the pop the little piece off because for the display up there, I had it on a on a jumper plate. We'll set yeah. this to the side. So we got that. You're gonna go ahead and open up the parts. Yep. So we made the Brickitech logo in white for our channel. Small amount. Let me get the instructions. Okay, while well, you start building. It's not instructions, it's his little letter. You want to read it? I'll read it. Oh, it's to you, really. Addison Papa Bear. Good job guessing the completion 
Yeah, completion mm -hmm. date. And thanks for believing I would finish the set so early. Enclosed is your Brickitect logo. Have fun building it and keep making great content, especially more just built. Dur, dur, dur. More dash. <laughs> Especially more desk builds. Yeah, I haven't done one in a while. And, and I know those are Greg's favorite, so I do need to do another desk build. All what's really best. waiting is I gotta do the Tron. Oh, what's got? All the best, Greg and Clark. Yep, there's a letter from them. Face. That's really cool. With a little smiley face. Fuck yes! Fuck yes! There it goes. It's in there. Hold it still. Okay. Cool. Do you want to build that up real quick? Yep. <laughs> Instructions. Do you want to follow on? Switch around my green and blue. How'd I mess that up, Greg? How'd I mess that up, Greg? How is that even possible? All this time. I cannot believe I did that. So there we go. Very cool. All right, so with that, we are going to move on to our move from hall. Basically, that's like a delivery, right? We can keep these on so we can see them. Uh, one here, and that one's yours. We'll put this one mine that I built, and this one's yours that you, you won. You should uh, put that one in your desk, and then I can put this one on my desk. We'll probably. You don't want to keep these in the studio? And then we can make another, and then we can recreate another one and put them up there. We'll see. So we're going to move from delivery into our actual builds for our holiday decorations. Do you want to build a brickhead or do you want to build the set? I want to say this first. Okay. Together. Okay, let's build the holiday Wait, how set. How about we build I do this one and then you can do that one. Kind of like we did with the Halloween one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to each build a separate set and then I'll help you with that one as soon as we get done. So let's get started. Okay, so that took a second to try to find them, but we kept the, the, the fall figures out. We gotta get them off of this big stand that I built for all of our, like, mini, so I put as many, many figures up there as I could, so. Okay. There's me. That's you. Okay. Kinda looks like me, actually. That does. Let me go ahead and uh, put this, put this back up there. Just a second. Okay, let's.
Do you want me to gather Flower. pieces for you? Pieces, yes. Okay, so we've completed the set, and uh, we are going to move into the very final segment of this episode, which is minifigure time. So let's clear this set out of the way, and then... Oh, look, did you get to see the turkey? A little turkey there. Uh, you want to move these out of the way and do minifigure time? Yep. <laughs> so we are going to do this minifigure session a little bit differently than normal. We are not drawing from the minifigure head. I actually did a little bit of package feeling, and I'm pretty sure there's at least one of these three that is a big deal one that Addison wanted. Um, I've told her already that I think it's in here. So she's going to open these three these three Series 18 minifigure packs. And since I've finished my uh, Ninjago minifigure display case, I'm going to do three of the Ninjago series. So we are going to go ahead and start opening our minifigure packs now. And three, two, one. A pickle! Yeah. <laughs> she called that a pickle on our first one. She really wanted one, and I was like, that's, that's, that's a cactus. That's a cactus. So, and we got a squid head guy. That's a new one for the Ninjago thing, too. Huh. One I've of the. That one. Yeah, one of. Uh, I tried to put this on without a head. It's got. Um, I think minifigures go like funny. These funny mi minifigures uh, go well with. Um, Halloween. So it's like little costumes. Is this not supposed Trick to... Trick or tweet! I might need to look this one up. This one looks like it's got a little bit of a weird... Pow! Pow! Yeah, no, it goes on that way. Just worried that, uh... Yeah, it's armor. Oh. Then the head, and then... This was the one we felt might have... We might have felt this one. Oh, it's a flower one. That's super cool. Yeah, that cool. one's pretty cool. Doesn't seem to want to. She feels so uncomfortable. Oh! Yeah, now I'm happy again. Maybe the angle was a little wrong on it, but yeah, this squid head did not want to get on top of here. It still feels like maybe it's not. Okay, there we go, maybe. Oh. It's a little bit tough. Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, to uh, do this. Oh, put the legs through the bottom maybe first? Yeah. So he's got a little bit of a stud shooter. A blaster. Make it kid friendly. Mm hmm. With a couple extra ones. So I um, have to put those on the sides of the stand here just to. Make sure we've got all of our space covered. I'm a beautiful little flower. Fish. Oops, I put that in the wrong hand. Let's hope. His right hand. Fish hand. This one is <gasps> number 12. <laughs> I was pretty sure I got one of those too. Yep. So we got a second police officer. So that one we might be able to either sell or give to somebody as a prize. We might be decide if someone's going to win that one. Wait, but didn't we say if we got um, this, we would give it to the people who act to the people who actually found our first ever police officer? Well, I mean, like, I squeezed them, and I was pretty sure I picked one out. I was actually surprised I didn't end up with two when we did the first episode. But, yeah, we, we can, maybe. We'll see. If they're coming, maybe we can. They are not coming tomorrow. Oh, man. I know. Hmm. They are someone I kind of expected to come, but they um, they have plans. Why does everybody say no? So this is Garbodon, uh in his pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> his, well, his pajamas have little volcanoes on them. <laughs> That's even funny. more ridiculous. It really is. Okay. And I've got one last one. How did you get them done faster than me? 
because yours has a bunch of crazy, um, crazy little parts. Crazy little parts, yeah. yeah. I mean, this this one was the one that took the longest. So that Garmadon pajamas Garmadon is number sixteen. This one's a guy with oh, this shark helmet is so cool. Is that a rare one? I don't know, but it looks amazing. It's one of the generals, but like just the the helmet just looks super cool. Music is really cool. He's got this black fish thing with fire. So I'm assuming I make this into like fire breathing fish. 600! <laughs> I will say the whole <laughs> sea creatures thing with Garmin on characters, like the villains, is just really weird. Is that supposed to what be is, a fire breathing what is fish? This oh, is that yes. To go like that? Yes, it is a fire breathing fish. What? And that one is number. Is that supposed to go like that? Yes, put those together. The fire breathing fish general guy is number 14. Well, that was minifigure time. I think today was pretty successful. What's again? Successful. 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 We got a pickle. It's a pickle. I'm a pickle. A policeman. Two Brickitect logos. I mean, we already had the one, but yeah, we got the. Built our. Thanksgiving stuff. Crazy cool and funny stuff. Yeah, from the from Ninjago. Got and our, decorations. Yep, decorations for Thanksgiving. I so. also got to bake. Yep, we have to go take a pecan, pecan cheesecake, cheesecake out of the oven. So a pecan pie, not pecan pie. Cheesecake. It's a yep, it's a pecan cheesecake. So we move these over here. Thanks so much for cheesecake. watching today. And as always. So this is the final project that we have put over here. We have the jack-o'-lantern that Dad, or Papa Bear, has turned happy. We have the set that we have just built. turkey. Happy Thanksgiving, you turkey. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Add Some Verses. I guess we should do a test, too. We'll count that as your test. Test, test? Okay. <laughs> Looks like a cart full of pumpkins. Cool, cool, cool. We do this minifigure show a little bit differently, you are. I started yawning. So we are going to do this minifigure session a little bit differently than normal. We are not drawing from the minifigure head. I actually... <laughs> Let's say the whole... <laughs> you just probably stick it in it like it's um, a stud piece because it's...